All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to show you how you can make a, um, a a team randomizer, and you can teleport the players to the maps that you also randomize. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here is my lobby, and if you saw my randomized tutorial the last time, you should have a script, but I modified it a lot. So this is what it looks like, and yeah, so I, I have maps already right here. And I've made these before I started this video. And there's three maps, as you say, and there's three spawns on them. And I'm just going to spawn each team players onto the map that I choose. So I have three teams, red, blue, and orange. And so we're going to utilize our um, script that runs the players that randomizes the, their teams and stuff. And we're going to put them on the map that is chosen and to the corresponding spawn. So that's basically what we're doing. Um, so yes, let's do it. So, I, I actually did everything beforehand, so you guys can basically just copy it. But I will just, uh, I will um, explain what everything does, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how to set everything up too. So, if you want to set everything up, obviously make sure you have uh, as many maps as you want. Make a map folder in the workspace like I have here. I named it maps. Name it and make sure you name it exactly as I named it because that shouldn't be very important for when we're doing the scripting. So make sure you name it exactly like I did. Um, and then put all your maps in there. I just called it map 1, 2, and 3 because uh, I just didn't feel like coming up with unique names. So I would advise you to come up with better names. And, and these maps are pretty uh, dull, so it doesn't really matter. These just this is just for testing. So we're just gonna put this ma this maps folder. After we're done with that, and you put all your maps into the folder, um, uh, select it, drag it into replicated storage. We'll be using that later. And also make sure you guys have a an area where you your the players in the game will spawn. Because when they join the game, they're going to need to spawn somewhere. They don't, you don't want them to fall out off the map. So that's why you want to have something. That's why I just have this part with a spawn on it. So I can spawn here. Okay, so next. Make sure you have the teams in your teams folder. I have three of them. I have orange. I have re uh, this red tower and blue. And make sure auto assignable is off for each one. So yeah, make sure the box is... Uh, this this box right here is checked off for each one. Very important. So it doesn't assign you automatically. Alright, so. Next. What we're going to do, we're going to make the GUI. So I made this. I just made a screen GUI into star GUI right here. And then I put a text table into it. Right here. And as you see, it's just a text table. And you can put text in it. Uh, so this is just the clock. And as you see, I just I, I uh, made the background transparent, and you can see the clock up here. And we so this is it will show us the time in their game, like if like uh, the round time. If you if you want to do like a round script, this is perfect because it will loop through every round. It will go through intermission, and then it'll start teleport all the players. Okay, so yes, let's do that. So I'm going to make it transparent. You can design your timer any way you want. I would prefer it if you guys customize your stuff. Make it to your, your liking. All of the stuff that I made is, is pretty bad. Because I don't really care how it looks. It's just for demonstration. That's all it's for. So I'm just going to um, remove the text. So yeah, just make sure you have a screen GUI and a text label in it. And you'll be good to go. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what to do. And yeah, so enter our local script into that uh, text label, and then we'll have this. So um, I made a variable local status equals game dot replicated storage dot status, and what that is, it's just a string value that I put in replicated storage. Um, so yeah, just add a, a string value into replicated storage. I already did this. You can just name it status like this and you're done see that's all you gotta do just a string value and this will hold the information we're gonna need for the time 
so we can put it on the server. So you just make sure you have a string value named stat, uh, status in replicated storage. Then we say status.change connect function. So when the status is changed, if something changes in the pr one of the property changes, then we'll say strip the parent text equals status that value. So that's the end of that strip. So that's part one of getting the clock to work. We go to the main script where most of the stuff happens. This is pretty uh it's a lot here. So some of this is from the other video that I have, and I didn't delete the, the, this first line. Local teams is game get service teams get children. So we're just getting all the children of the teams right here. All right, then we'll get the maps folder in the replicated storage. Make sure you wait for it because you don't want to. Because when the game starts, the, uh, your server scripts will start running right when the game is loaded in and the server is created. So that's why it's very important that you wait for the maps folder. Because if, if it doesn't wait for it, and it just loads in, or if, I mean, if the maps folder uh, takes a while to load, it will wait for it. If you don't do it, then it won't wait for it, and it might, there might cause an error. But that's, that's that. Just make sure you do that. And we're also going to wait for the status. So make sure you do that. Okay, now we do an infinite loop, also known as a while loop in Roblox, while to do. Okay. Make sure you have an end. I, this is a lot here. You know what? Let me do something here. I'm going to close some of this off so I'll make it easier to read. Alright, so. Um, I start off with the for loop. This is just my intermission here. You can change this to anything you want. I just made it 7 seconds because it's quick. You can change this number to anything you want. It can be how, this is, this, the first number is the time of your, the start of your intermission. If you want to have an intermission, you can keep this part, or you can delete it, and you don't have to do that part. But this is for the intermission. So I'll have a 10-second intermission, and you know I'm gonna make that seven again. All right. So yeah, that's just for the intermission. Not a big deal. Okay. So we're gonna make a, a random map. We did this before. Same stuff. And then we're going to clone that parent, and then we're going to place it in the, uh, oh, a folder in the workspace that I made. So just make a folder in the workspace, and name it current map, like so. And we're going to put all the maps that are, like, in the game, that are running in the game, that are, that the chosen map, we're going to put it in there. Just for organizational purposes, that's all. It's better that way. It's good to be organized. Alright, so... Now we're going to do uh, another for loop, for i, comma, player, in pairs. Game that players get players do. Alright, so now we're just looping through the players. This is from the last tutorial when I did the random teams. If player then, if player.team is, is nil, which is nothing. Nil is basically like undefined, like there is there is no team. Local random team equals teams. So we're going to go to the teams folder. We're going to, a square bracket is used for when you want to go into something. So we want to go into that folder. And we want to say map.random and one. So we want to get one team out of this folder and and a, a pound symbol and team. So one, one team out of all the teams that are in here. So that's what that does. And then we assign them their team right here. Okay. And you don't need to worry about this line. This is just old. Just for testing. Don't worry about that. That commented out. You don't have to write that. So. Then we check. So. All of these lines right here is just uh, repetition. I just copy and pasted from this first one right here. So we're just checking if their team is blue right here. And if it is blue, then we're going to spawn them on the blue spawn that I had on the, on my map. So, and make sure you, whatever you name your teams, like it could be anything you name it, just make sure you update it here, because that will be vitally important. Um, so yeah, make sure you get all your names right. Like, that's just the name of my team right here, blue. So that's what I named it as, and... And we set it to random map dot 
blue spawn that C frame. So that's gonna put us on the blue spawn. As you see, I have a blue spawn in all of the maps, and I have a red and orange one too. I showed you that at the beginning. So that's what we're doing. Um. So yeah, it's just repetition. I, if the player's team is red, put them on the red spawn right here. If it's if it if the team is orange, then put them on the orange spawn. That's all we're doing. Oops, what happened? Alright, so, not much code left, and I just said here, this line right here, you don't have to write this, but it's basically basically going to say the map name on the, on the, like, uh, on the text label here where it shows the time. So if you want that, you can keep it. If not, you don't have to write it. It's just for something extra. Don't worry about it. Um, and then I wait 0.5, and then this... Uh, for loop will run, and this is the game time. So adjust this t first uh, integer here to however long you want your your round to to go on for. It could be a minute, which is sixty seconds if you want. It can be whatever. I'm just gonna have it at uh, I'll I'll have it at uh, uh seven. I want it to be short. So uh, and then status equals game over, cleaning up. Then it cleans up the maps. It destroys it. And then I set my, my team to nil, which I told you earlier, it's nothing. And then we wait two seconds, then it will go all the way back up here and start this whole process over again. So that's it. That's all the code. Hope you guys understand. Hope you guys find this uh, tutorial helpful. I'm just going to test run it one time. And if you it will work, okay. It should be pretty easy. Let's see. And it says map 2 was chosen. And we're in the game, and I spawned on the blue spawn, as you see. And you see how the, the map it was in the folder right there. Game over, cleaning up, starting a new game. Let's see if it puts me on a new team. Yes, it did! I'm on red. So, I spawned on the other map this time. And in two seconds, it will clean up, and it'll continue doing that forever. So, guys, that is it. That's all I have. Hope this helped you guys. Um, thank you for all the support. Thank you for that. Uh, all the new subscribers. And hit the like if this helped you. I hope it did. If it didn't, comment down below. I'll try to uh, reach out. See what went wrong. Um, don't be afraid to comment your errors. Just type it in. Like You can check the output window right here. And it'll tell you all your errors in the script. But yeah, you guys got this. I'm sure you guys got this. But... If there's anything at all, just type it in the comments, and I'll try to respond and help you. Or ask for someone else's help. You never know. But, yeah, I hope it helped. Thank you guys for watching, and, um, yeah, hit the like and subscribe, and see you guys later.